Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Project Zomboid. For those who don't know, Project Zomboid is essentially the ultimate zombie survival sim. With such absurdly deep and complex and numerous mechanics, that some have likened it to a life simulator even before the zombie element. It is the perfect testbed for all your hypothetical zombie plans, and you've seen me put some of those plans into action before in series such as Escape Raven Creek and Clearing the Prison. When we make these plans, we all like to assume that we'd be diligently awaiting the day the world ends, ready to spring into action at a moment's notice and implement our plans. But what if we played as someone who's the exact opposite? What if we played as someone who, either through negligence or just plain being caught off guard, had the worst possible entrance to this new world? And that's where this challenge comes in. So if we go into solo, there's a challenge listed here called a really CDDA, a reference to the game Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, I believe. While this game is already infamous for how unforgiving it is, most deaths are ultimately the player's fault, the result of taking a risk and having it go badly. But this one is not even attempting to be fair. In fact, I'm likely to die several times just in the beginning while explaining it. Here's the description. You get out of the shower and fall badly. You're blind drunk and have a nasty cold. On top of all this, the house is on fire. Today is definitely not your day. I am not going to build my character out of any setup I would normally use. I'm going to be unemployed to get the most amount of points and just make myself dexterous, an outdoorsman, and inconspicuous. And all of this is only in the interest of surviving those first few minutes. I am going to die so many times in this game before I can even get like 10 feet from the house, calling it right now. But it should at least be funny to watch. Now I've heard that RNG can actually render this scenario impossible. And it seems that Ferdinand Foley is our first victim. I'm not going to change anything about this. I actually really like the idea of coming up with a story for a character just based on what the game gives me. Okay, now, see, 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 <laughs> I think this might actually be impossible. I think RNG has screwed us right off the bat. Look at us in our underwear, house on fire. Everything is bad right now. And I think if we try to run through this, we'll die. Uh, we'll catch fire, be covered in third degree burns, and just, d yep, here we go. Yep, yep, yep. Literally not a chance. <laughs> Oh, if that's not an omen, I don't know what is. At the very least, we can die outside. Oh, no, no, no. We actually are not on fire anymore. We are going to live. Oh, right, and we have a cold. Oh, God, no. Uh, I forgot about that. That means that we're going to be... Oh, no. That means that we're going to be sneezing and alerting the zombies at every moment. Uh, a gash in our leg. Actually, let's see what that injury is. Oh, my God. Oh, we're burned. We've got a deep wound in our groin. Oh, I never thought this is how it would end, although everyone else sort of did. <laughs> oh, <we're... laughs> uh, at least that zombie gets to enjoy some cooked food. You know what? It might actually be a better idea to just take this. Because look, it's not going to matter how inconspicuous we are if our character is constantly sneezing from a cold, right? But we may have to eat some less than savory things in order to keep ourselves going. Uh, King Newcomb. Alright, let's see if you live up to your name. Okay, we can escape uh, if we're fast. Dog food, you know what, I'll take it. Oh, but we can't get around the table, no! Okay, uh, limp, 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 limp for your life. Through here, out the back and try and limp away. Luckily, there's not too much immediately outside. Uh, can you crouch? Okay, do that, do that, do that. Oh, we might actually have had a very lucky start right there. 
Oh, but the rain is gonna get to us. Hopefully there's no zombies inside the house because we are not in any state to fight. Oh, and that's assuming there's not like an alarm on this place. Let's open up. Nope, 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 nope. We gotta get inside so that nothing can hear you sneeze. Nope, already something pounding on the door. Okay, let's get some pants on and immediately get out of here. Uh, where? There we go. You're already immediately alerting everything. All right, open window. Climb on out. And we're still bleeding, do not forget. I don't know if they can actually... Oh no, we're spotted. See, this is nothing in a regular... No! Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> Run for your life. See, the thing is, if we're spotted, we're pretty much already dead. We actually can hardly outrun these guys. They're faster than us. We can only keep going because they have to stop to initiate a bite. Well, King Newcomb, it was a good run, but we are already screwed. Uh, that's one problem with this challenge, is that so much of it is just luck-based. Yeah, we were granted a good start, but then everything, everything went bad right after. It's pretty much just delaying the inevitable at this point. Unless there's keys in the ignition of this car. By the way, if the door's not already unlocked, we're just gonna die right here. We might die even if it is unlocked. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Yeah, cough is right. New record, 49 minutes, 53 seconds. Mm-hmm. Chance Simmons, you're up. Okay, oh uh, no, okay, uh, see so what we got, literally nothing here. Let's go, oh, can we make it out the window? There's literally, oh no, no, there's fire out the window as well. Okay, well, climb on out. Oop, we just barely made it. Can we get into the vehicle? Probably not, it's gonna be locked. Can't get into our own van. Nope. All right, let's try and sneak away. What can we see? Guys across the street. Can't really see through the trees, which hinders as much as it helps. Maybe we can get into this house? Oh no, stop sneezing, bro. Really need you to stop doing that. Okay, inside. Oh no. Oh no. And there's one pounding on a window or a door somewhere. Probably that window opposite the... Yep. Yep, we're gonna have company in just a moment. Hey, our first kill. I would love to take your clothes, but I can't. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Maybe we can kill that one that came in? If it's just the one? No, you stay down, you. Luckily, there's curtains on that window. But now it's broken, so they can probably hear me in here. It's probably not a good idea to be putting on, like, bloody pants when I'm bleeding from the groin! Okay, grab quickly, grab quickly, grab quickly, go, 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 go! No, 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 I'm stuck in the corner, I'm stuck in the corner, I'm stuck in the corner! Okay, uh, go, 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 have I been bit? No, but I'm in severe pain and bleeding out. If we don't do something about that soon, we are just gonna bleed to death. I think something's following me, yep. Okay, it's very important that we eliminate our tail, but we also can't stay outside. Oh, this is getting real bad. Okay, let's trip you over the fence. No! Ah, oh, the green thing lied to me. Ugh. Okay, get down. Die, 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 die. Uh, at least we're killing fairly quickly. And nope, we can't do this. We can't do this. Yep, yep, yep. Chance Emmons, it was a good run, but you're dead. Fifty-seven minutes. Oh, we've almost made it to a whole hour in game. But yes. Making our way next door in either direction, I think, is going to be a good first option no matter what. Because we don't want to be caught outside while we're sneezing. Seems like the spawns on cars are actually fairly decent, but uh, that's going to draw plenty. Yep, you're going to immediately start trying to get in. All oh, the food is rotten. How long into this are we? Well, let's grab the rolling pin to use... She uses a weapon. Like the- oh god, no, 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 no! Oh, I hate tripping so much, it's so stupid. Ah, oh, they can lunge so far- no, stand up, stand up, and we're dead. 
Hollis Babcock. It's this mobility. If it were anything else, this would be survivable. But because we can't move, we can't consistently break line of sight. Okay, uh, open window, please. And out we go. Try not to catch fire, and we caught fire instantly. Yet another one of those impossible starts. I've started adding some negative traits to try and stack my positives. So we've got Disorganized, Smoker, and Slow Reader. Uh, in addition to Fast Healer and Gymnast. So hopefully we'll be a little bit more capable in the beginning. All of this is not a build that I would normally take. It's just something to keep me alive in those first few minutes. Marcia Cobb. Okay, there we go. I've just learned now that it is actually possible to click through the beginning there. Uh, maybe we can go out the back. Nope. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Open up, open up, open up. Uh, haven't gone this way before, and immediately set upon by a burning zombie, which we cannot fight because it's on fire. All right, just keep trying to move. Just keep trying to move and weave through the trees. Oh, the fact that there's so many around makes this as dangerous for me as for them. Yep, we can't actually... See, the thing is, we can't really maneuver around. This mobility is the biggest killer out of everything. We actually can't really get distance on them. This is me holding shift, by the way. If I hold shift and this is sprint, I can just barely keep ahead of them. This is an absolute nightmare. I had no idea it would be this bad. I'm just kind of trying to, like, brush the edges of the trees here, but these other guys are making it hard. I don't want to start walking straight through them because A, that'll slow me down significantly even more, and B, like, there could be zombies on the other side. I'm, I'm gaining more for every one I lose. It's ridiculous. Maybe I can climb the fence, but they're probably just going to trip me. Go. Yeah, oh, there we go. Okay, sprint through, and there we are. I don't know if they can hear me more when I sprint like this. They can definitely hear my coughing and sneezing. Well, Marcia Cobb, you've made it farther than anyone. I don't know if you'll make it more time. Fences, viable strategy, since you don't appear to have, like, a wounded jumping the fence animation. But I don't think it's gonna get us much in the end. If only this fog actually helped break line of sight, huh? Maybe we could do something with it. Utter insanity. Utter insanity. Even if that car were unlocked, fully gassed up, and had the keys in the ignition, we wouldn't have time to get in. I could maybe try going through a house. I doubt in this state we're going to be able to hop that double fence. Tell you what, now's the time to experiment. If we can, then that could be a strategy. Oh, we actually... Oh, that's very good, but there's just more over here. There's simply nothing we can do. Marcia Cobb, you are doing amazing physical things, but there's, there's no way. No chance. Well, we're the first to make it to one hour. Leanne Helm. All right, Leanne Helm, you're up. No, uh, we have a little bit of time this time. The fire is not quite that bad. I would love to take carpentry, but we probably shouldn't. A lot of good books in this house, and we have to kind of leave them behind. Now, what's the best way to go? Like, where are the fewest zombies? Take that garbage bag, we can use it to store stuff. I'm not seeing much in this direction. Nobody following us just yet. I wonder if they're attracted to the light and sound from the fire during the day. It also doesn't seem to be particularly foggy today. Is the weather randomized as well? I haven't even been paying attention to that. That will definitely have gotten attention though, so- OH COME ON! Well, that's the end of this character pretty much. Uh, sewing kit and vitamins, maybe we can stitch ourselves up. But we're not going to be doing it here. Nope. Yep, that was the end. This run ended before it began. 
All right, let's weave through the trees. They're going to be coming from every direction is the problem. But we've got to see... The goal when a large herd is chasing you is to break line of sight. That's always what you need. But what's the purpose of breaking line of sight if... What's the purpose of breaking line of sight if, if wherever you go, there's just more zombies there, too? Going into here is either going to kill us or be our salvation. Let's go through here, break line of sight with the fences, and try to fight what's behind us. We've got to kill this guy quickly, very quickly. Quicker than that, really. Two now. But maybe this can be rendered manageable. Stand on one so that it can't get up. No, we're not going to be able to manage this at all. Nope, nope, nope. No chance, we're dead. Tell you what, let's try hopping this fence. Let's go. Yep. And now maybe, maybe we've bought ourselves a second. Into the woods with us. In the freezing cold, no items from our own home. Bleeding profusely, but... Oh, maybe we can grab something from here? We really need clothes, and more importantly, we need to remove this glass. Will that make it worse? Ow. Severe pain, so much bleeding. Maybe we can... We can't... We can't stitch it up with what we have. See, the thing about Project Zomboid is that you always do what keeps you alive in the moment. What gets you killed often is worrying about not losing something other than just your life. But we don't have the luxury of focusing on anything like that here. We literally have to put in everything we have just to keep them one inch behind us for one second longer. With this sneezing, there is just no losing them. I wish we had some way to suppress this. Through the trees. It looks like if we're sprinting, we can actually lose them in the trees. Now keep in mind, we can actually get scratched up by trying to go through that way. Eh, nope, we did not gain enough ground. We gotta kill you quickly. Get your stuff. Use your bloody shirts as rags to cover our wound. Come on, die. Die, we're exhausted, so we have really poor stats right now. Okay, grab... Grab, grab, come on! Can we, can we, we, okay, rip clothing. Rip clothing, we can't do it while sprinting. We can't rip clothing at all, apparently. I guess it's in too bad of shape, I don't know. Maybe we can't be moving at all. Maybe we can lose them going through this abandoned structure. Oh wow, I've never seen this place before. All right, we gotta hope we can go all the way through out the other side. We can, but it's not gonna be enough. We just can't get the distance. And we're, we're about to bleed to death anyway. Around the corner. Rounding corners does actually help more than you think, but not when we're constantly alerting them to our location. So what did we learn? We need a spawn that gives us clothes. There is absolutely no way we survive without that because we need to be able to rip up the clothes in order to make ourselves some temporary bandages and stop the bleeding. Because blood loss is what's killing us right now. As long as we've stopped that, we can always go another few feet. Breaking line of sight is something we have actually succeeded in doing once or twice with this character. It's just this cough and this cold. We obviously need to get somewhere remote as soon as humanly possible but none of that matters until we stop the bleeding. I'm actually kind of impressed that we've gone this far. Leanne Helm, you are a true trailblazer. This is just painful to watch at this point. And there we go. They'll feast on us, but we won't become one of them. Three hours. Let me try running real quick. Nope. You guys right there! Jesus Griffiths. Will you live up to your name?
Uh, it's looking like probably not. Uh, you've got a meat cleaver. That's uh, a nice thing. So combat Jesus could be a thing. Uh, all your food is rotten. We're not getting anything from the... Oh, wait, no. Grab the sheets. Yes. Open window. Open window! And we're going to burn right away. Nope. Go, 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 go! All right. You have the best chance out of any so far, Jesus Griffiths. Let's equip that meat cleaver as our primary, and we need to rip this sheet. Oh, we can't be moving. Okay, we, more than any other, I'm counting on you to get far away as possible. All right, rip up these sheets and get moving again, because we don't have time to bandage ourselves in one sitting. Move slowly so you don't get all scratched up. Although I don't think scratches bleed, so scratches I can actually tolerate right now. What I can't tolerate is that huge laceration, which is infected, by the way. Let's put some rip sheets on. And that'll keep us alive for the time being. Now, ordinarily, you don't want to sprint in these situations. Oh, it actually seems like we've regained a bit of mobility. Hmm, so that could be a good thing. There's still glass in our leg, though, that we'll have to remove at some point. Just one. Okay, we'll kill you, and we definitely want your jacket. We're actually just going to stomp you to death, uh, because we don't want to rip up your clothing any more than it already is. No, come on! Okay, grab the shoes at the very least. There's more coming, but if we can keep it to a trickle, maybe we can do something with this. Oh, we're so slow on the combat. Stomping might have actually been better. Ugh. Okay, now what can we wear? Uh, your clothes are all in horrible shape, but we can put on some shoes at least. So many more of you. So many more of you know we can't even loot what they have. Well, Jesus Griffiths, you've gotten yourself into a better position than any of the others ever experienced. I mean, you're the first to get a bandage on your leg, you're the first to get a real weapon, the first to get some shoes on your feet, and you've got the hair of the gods. Ooh, a field. Maybe a field means a farm? Oh, I forgot, we're drunk as well on top of everything. Plastered. Coordination impaired. Certainly feels like it. Oh, jeez. And you've killed as many zombies as anyone else at three. Our next step is going to be to get indoors. We are hypothermic. All right, I'm seeing a fence on the right side there. Maybe we can get over there? We just need somebody where we can lay low for a few days and heal. Someplace without too many zombies. But in this game, like, with the way the distribution works, especially on the increased spawn settings that seems to be present here... Uh, that's not a guarantee, even if it is a farm. Oh, it's the abandoned structures from before. Might have to take it. I don't know if it'll actually be any warmer inside or not. Seems like there's nothing much here. Ah, a zombie. A single zombie is actually kind of a good thing, because it means we can and potentially wear her dress if it gives us even a, the slightest bit of warmth. No, your condition is horrible. Uh, strapless bra also provides no insulation, unfortunately. Uh, we can wear it anyway. Even this is better than nothing. Okay, so... Maybe now would be a good time to... I don't know what now would be a good time to do. This is bad. Ooh, rail tracks. Oh, I actually think I know where I am. I think there's actually an abandoned rail station right over here. Yes, uh, that'll probably make for a better shelter. And it may even be up the road from a house that's completely fenced in. Oh, if only we had like a wood-burning stove or something. Alright, now there's an outer bathroom that we can maybe have a look at. Ah, yes, great. Uh, we can get ourselves some water, maybe even wash this bandage. Let's try that. Let's try... Moving this, 
removing the glass by hand, which is going to suck. Ow. Ow. Now wash. Oh, come on. We can't... Okay, we can clean the rag and then immediately put that back on. We've got to deal with this infection. We've got friends. A wooden mallet. We'll definitely be taking that momentarily. we got to find out where this guy is. Oh, it's so dark. Yep. Just the one zombie in a closet. Never gets old. Actually, I shouldn't be slashing you. I should... Yeah, okay, that's much, much better shape. See, the thing is, even for as safe as this may seem compared to the rest of the scenario, this would be, like, a dire situation on, like, any other save. I mean, we are still dying, basically. We managed to recover some of our conditions, but we are in very poor health. I mean, that infection is going to kill us, probably, if we don't get something to offset it. And so I'm going to kill what I can and move downward to try and find a house or something. Alright, and we're starting to... We're not drunk anymore, so we're going to be a little bit more capable in combat. Uh, that... Okay, even that messed up sweater still gives us a little bit more than what we had. Pants. Ooh, that guy has a jacket too. That's excellent. Okay, that's going to do great things for the cold. Ooh. Actually, it would probably be kind of a good thing if we are going to sleep here to sneeze it up while we can, right? Two more. Stand on one. And eliminate the other. Yeah, we're definitely getting into this now. Things are going to start to hopefully look a little bit better. But it's that infection, man. It's that infection is the only reason I don't just stay at the train station. Actually, see, I know there's houses through the trees over here. I'm familiar enough with this area. But I'm going to take the gamble, actually, on there being something worthwhile. Maybe up by the farm field. Because if I can find a farmhouse, that's like ideal. I'll watch it be randomly burned down. Now, I'm very likely to succumb to this infection at this point, given the spawn rates of any kinds of medicine or anything. However, if you're interested in seeing a really great series, I'll, I'll link it in the description. Uh, this YouTuber, Ambiguous Amphibian, did a whole series where he actually survived, I think, the opening... Uh, of this scenario, and went on to live for, like, a really long time. So I really recommend giving that a try, because he's, like, super, super good at the game. Ah, uh, yes, white picket fence, exactly what we want. And in the apocalypse, real estate is free. Now, there may be zombies there... But then again, there may not be. Either way, it looks like it'll be manageable. And with our currently improved stats, we should be able to handle whatever's there. Okay, Max Zoom. Still not seeing anything. That scarecrow scared the crap out of me. They always do. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I just really hope there's no alarm on these things. Have a peek inside. Looks good. We've been having pretty good luck with uh, doors not being locked in this, at the very least. Plenty of good weapons, a crowbar. Oh yeah, we're going to want ourselves that. And what's in this container over here? A rake. Okay, so we've got tools for a while, a hammer. But there are friendos inside. Multiple friendos, that's not good. Do the double tap on the door. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, well, the farmer and his wife. Uh, shame about that bathrobe. I'd have really liked to have kept it. But this is my house now. There's definitely still more inside, though. Yep, two more. I'm going to kill you outside so that you don't get blood all over the place. I would really appreciate it if you wouldn't break my windows. Oh, there's just so many. The spawn rate is definitely upped in this scenario. 
like somebody tried to fight this guy. There's a big old knife sticking out of his back. Dangerous, but I'm trying to save the window. Uh, but then again, see, here's me immediately taking dumb risks as soon as I find even a modicum of safety. I shouldn't even be bothering with this corner. The smart thing to do would be to let them break it and crawl through. Yep, we lost it in the end anyway. Well. Oh, there's still more. Somewhere in here. Okay, let's eat some of this food. Uh, if nothing else, peanut butter will sustain us. I should be more careful. I know they're in here somewhere. They broke out of these rooms. Uh, this part is always nerve-wracking. Probably upstairs somewhere, which is going to be real dangerous to climb. Uh, do you have some better pants? Yes, we'll put those on. There might be more than one. There might be more than one. Look at me, <laughs> all drenched in blood. Okay, only one door acting up. That doesn't mean there's only one behind it, though. Okay, you follow me. Right this way, sir. Yeah, even if this place doesn't have antibiotics or anything, which it almost certainly doesn't, we're definitely spending the night here. I just don't know how long it'll be for, before this infection takes me. Yep, yeah, use the window, go right on ahead, everyone does. And boom. How many is that killed in taking this house? One, two, three, four, five, six. But it's quite a prize, especially compared to the experience of every other unfortunate survivor in this game. Nothing really in these crates. We've got some potato seeds in a bucket, so we can maybe do some farming. I would assume there's no power, right? Yeah, no. Probably no power, no water. We need to clean ourselves up. Ah, uh, antibiotics! Yes! Okay, take, take, take. That is brilliant. Uh, we also have to make sure we keep these bandages clean so that we don't get reinfected. Uh, we need, like, alcohol or something, peroxide, to put on the wound itself. Seems to be all. And it seems like there's a radio buzzing somewhere in here. But, Jesus Griffiths, you have done quite an excellent job for yourself, and... Even if this infection still kills us, I'm honestly very proud to have gotten this far. Pickles? We definitely want to eat as much as we can, because eating helps with healing, but I don't know if this deep wound will actually heal itself on its own. I've never actually had to deal with something like this in-game. Hmm, there's a broken window over here as well. That's a little bit concerning. I mean, maybe they were around the back and they broke in, but... Still, could that mean that there's some around here that we've not seen? Let's turn this thing off. You know, like I said, the water is off, and we really only have what's in the tap still. So finding a good water source is going to be very, very important for us. Our health has improved a good amount, but that could always change on a dime. Ooh, there's another kitchen that I didn't know about. Okay. Not a whole lot in it, though, but it means more water. Uh, we need some wheels. We'll apply one last uh, cleaned bandage, which it seems like the antibiotics have done their job. And for the first time on a character in this, get ourselves a good night's sleep. Oh, it is still so dark. Let's have a look at that wound. Yep, still bad, but no longer infected, and it's important that we keep this clean. I think today we're going to have to set out to, I don't know, maybe <laughs> find something better. I mean, this place is not going to cut it long term. We need a consistent source of water, preferably a farm with a well. And some way to consistently scavenge food and such. Some way to build ourselves a fire. So what I'm thinking is, now that we've 
if it weren't for this cold, if it weren't for this cold, we would be so much closer to being back to normal. Do I have a sewing kit on this character or was that a different character? That was a different character. I honestly have lived so many lives at this point I can't even tell. We're unfortunately just not going to stay here. We're able to fight now. And we're going to start moving back into town. But in, once the daylight comes, we're going to be checking out all these pests, see if there's any buildings immediately around us. I know there's a barn out there somewhere. And then we'll get a move on. We are now commencing Operation Eat All the Food in the House and whatever else we take with us. Oh, we had a straggler in here. Interesting. Well, even though I am moving on, I'm kind of petty, so you can't stay here. And you have a digital watch. Excellent. So let's put that on our left wrist. And now we can see the time, the temperature, the date, and how long we've survived. 21 hours. We're actually getting more damaged. But why? Are we infected again? No. Oh, I don't understand what's happening. Is it just from walking? Is it... Oh, maybe it's the pain of walking. Zambonis. I'm just following this trail through because I'm pretty sure it should bring us north of Muldrow. If I'm correct about the overall sense of direction. I can't keep you down. Oh my god. Oh, how is there so much just right here? Okay, point taken. Do not come back to Muldrow. Uh, but Jesus Griffiths is actually, like, packing quite a punch these days. But it's too much. Oh my god, that's what I get for stepping two feet outside of safety. Another one down. Uh, if anything, I just want to die, like, taking as many with me as I can. But there's so much. Good god. And here comes the fog. Look at all that from stepping two feet into the woods. Yeah, we're definitely not going into town with this cold. Guy with a backpack. Ooh, a camp. Potentially lots of useful gear here. Uh, not that that does me any good right now. Guys, I am not offering communion at the moment. Come on. Gotta be very careful here. There we go. Fence is a huge asset in a situation like this, or potentially going to get us killed. And we're definitely not going to split them up, backpack guys down, while I'm coughing like this. Hopefully, it seems from the jiggle of our heart that the health situation is stabilized, at least somewhat. Okay, remember, each one we kill makes this, like, exponentially easier. more down. I probably could have gotten two there, but, you know, I was trying to kind of keep it, uh, was trying to keep it safe as much as possible. Boom. Boom. See, this is the nice part of the kiting, where you realize that you've been whittling them down this entire time, and it's kind of all paying off at once. Smack. 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 Come on. Okay, back over the fence again. Yep. Yep. Ah. That would have been very bad if I had tripped. Green thing, you lie to me so often. I actually don't want to be in the woods right now at all. Okay, through here. Uh, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. Look, they're right behind me. Okay, we need that distance. Let's go. And smack. Finally, I hate you so much. Die, please. Look how tired we're getting. But you know what? This feels like sweet payback after everything we've been through this whole time. All right, shove you down. Smack. And smack. 37 zombies killed. One day survived. Uh, truly, the Son of God came not to be served, but to serve. Now, game, tell me a little bit more about that campsite we saw on the edge of the field. Of course, the fog is now setting in, making it absurdly difficult to find. 
Ooh, we've found some stuff on the ground. Yeah, this is my first time using this new foraging system. I'm just trying to see what goodies we can grab from the environment. Uh, what does that mean? Ooh, berries, but I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can eat those. I think you need a certain trait to be able to tell if you can or not. Uh, here we are, right on the edge of the property. Oh, a tent. This is all very good stuff. Now, what else have you got? I know there's one down with, uh, there's one down with a backpack somewhere. Well, we don't need it because we have this. So now we can actually travel in style. Uh, the camo is kind of messed up, but that's okay. Boots in very good shape. Ooh, a big hiking bag. Which one is better? Okay, the large backpack is better. And you... Oh, we've got so much stuff here. Any... Is that canned food on the ground good? Yes, it is. We've got beer. And I think we've earned this. Oh, runny nose. Maybe we are getting a little better. Maybe we should just hole up here for a little bit longer. Do we have any way of actually opening these cans? Oh, that's cruel. That's pure cruel fate. There might have even been a can opener on our house in the beginning. I don't remember. I think we can open it with, like, a knife or something, but we haven't found anything like that either. Oh, wait. Whoa, wait. One of you out here... Didn't one of you have a knife in your back? Yes. See why I love... Uh, but it doesn't seem like we can use it here. I might have been thinking of Daisy. Well, I guess we're having a can of marinara for lunch. Yeah, we desperately are going to need new food, so... Oh, look, we're cured of our cold. All right, we're going back out, as much as it sucks. Oh, more of you out here, but now... Now stealth is actually an option. Because I'm not sneezing and coughing constantly. God, that feels so much better. I've talked about this game's, like, reverse difficulty curve, and that's really something that stands out here. And of course, regular braining noises still make, well, noise. Remember, we are still dealing with an increased spawn rate, so we're probably still going to be seeing quite a bit out in these woods. But hopefully I'm right about where this trail comes out. I believe it should be either the north of Muldrow or, like, immediately north of Muldrow, so we have to walk down a little bit. Uh, it's times like this I really have to appreciate the effort that's gone into the atmospherics of the game. I mean, I never thought that an isometric viewpoint game sh could be, like, so deeply just comfy. I mean, I saw a video on Reddit recently of, oh god, of somebody just, like, clearing a house during an afternoon rainstorm, and it was absolutely gorgeous to look at. I mean, the audiovisual experience of this game is truly, like, better than most, like, AAA games, in my opinion. Gather you up some more. Uh, how I wish Horace Barnes were here to accompany me in these times. You remember the stats that guy built up? Just running around effortlessly one-slapping zombies with a machete? Ah, uh, those were the days. As well, so we get down to the last couple... Push him down, and just kill and kill. What's great about the crowbar for an early game weapon is that it does good damage, but it also takes a really long time to break. How's our skill development doing, actually? I don't think we've... Yeah, we haven't gotten a single skill this entire time, but our long blunt is getting there. Oh, and yes, there is that new bar that was added a few updates ago. New, of course, meaning like, what, a year or two ago, maybe more? But here comes this. If we can, yep, if we can pull slowly, if we can pull slowly, I think we can do this and start making inroads. A whole bunch here. And the problem is with this keyboard that I'm using, like my recording keyboard, it's not very easy to make that transition from control to shift. Oh god, how much is there? I was really, really hoping to get some food out of this. Maybe we still can. I mean, we had the ability to outpace them somewhat. We're still a little slower, but and we're a lot faster than we were before. Maybe we can still break line of sight and do this non-combat-y? 
No, nah, there's just there's more of them everywhere. And we're tired again. I think we head back. If we can lose them. Slow and steady as we possibly can. I mean, if that vehicle is working, that would be amazing. I'll just kill you, sir. Oh, you've got a riding helmet. That's actually a really useful thing. And can we get inside or have I just trapped myself? Uh, maybe both at the same time. Okay, we gotta kill what's in here, definitely. Okay, nope, 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 nope. Come on, break. <sighs> That's not good. Oh, good, a back door. Come on, both of you down, both of you down. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way, run! Okay, that was a bad situation. I should not have gone inside. I should have known there would be like a million more on my tail. Breaking a lot of sight through buildings can be an effective strategy, but no one, there's just so many. So many and so varied in terms of the directions they're coming from. This is utterly insane. And the problem is I'm also not used to playing with settings where they cluster like this. None of these cars are going to be working. Like, there's just no chance. I don't know if it's even going to be worth a try. Anything? Nope. A uh, sewing kit. And we're tired, so we're not going to be able to really effectively fight either. I think we just break loss through the woods and run. Uh, here's a body of water we can clean some rags in. But that tiredness, as soon as you get drowsy, you become so much weaker. Oh no, this counts as tainted water. We would have to boil it. The only, I think, infinite source of free clean water is wells. And I only know of one on this entire map. And it's a long way off. Yep. This is the Project Zomboid experience. You know, there is the massive challenge of just getting out of there in the beginning. And truly that is the biggest hurdle, but now... Well, now I'm having to deal with other things I haven't really dealt with before. The lack of resources, the crazy spawns. Well, at least we have a big ol' field to let us know when we're back home again. I'm actually at the point where I'm drinking beer for the calories. Whole can right there, but now that we're back, we should be okay for now. I don't know what the respawns are like, but this place should be safe for a little while. Uh, looks like there's also some ships on the ground. We should really, yeah, we should really check this place a lot more thoroughly. Yeah, so what we learned is that going into town is still going to be, like, absurdly difficult. We actually have a good amount of food, but it's all in cans. Yeah, our health is definitely improving when we sleep and don't try to, like, walk on this too much. But we're fast running out of water in this house, and we have to move on. Not to mention, we have all this food, but no way to actually eat it. We're actually going to be drinking our calories for a little while. Uh, okay, good. Buildings. Not a big building. Uh, but there's an outbuilding over there. Maybe it'll have some water. Oh, more than one. And is that a vehicle? Yes, it is. And some zombies. All right, let's approach carefully. But if we can get a ride, that'll be the biggest thing for us right now. Although I highly, highly doubt it. Even on default settings, getting a working car is so rare. And this is an absolutely horrendous shape. This is not gonna... Oh, wow. This is not even considered a real car. Hey, buddies. Do not break my window. I might need that for temporary warmth. Uh, with this watch, I can now see the uh, temperature. And I think I actually made a pretty big mistake by sleeping with the door to my room open with the windows all open downstairs. It got real cold in there. I just can't win with these windows. Uh, oh, wow. Clown car. Okay, well, I'm glad you decided to tell me now and not when I got inside. Alright, now what is this? It looks to just be like a supply shed or something. Wow, all of you are hanging around in there? What was this about? But for a supply shed, it doesn't seem to hold too many supplies. Yeah, fertilizer, that's a laugh. Like I'm ever going to get to agriculture? Come on. No, you don't? Oh, wow, it's actually a whole little apartment. 
Uh, that's actually a very good thing. Come over this way. Well, at the very least, we can use this as an outpost, right? Of course, I would really like it if one of you could drop, like, some can openers or something. <sighs> Nothing good. Ooh, a kitchen. But still, no can openers. We can open the canned sardines and the tuna, because uh, they probably have one of those, like, finger things. I don't know what you call them. But yeah, all in all, a pretty disappointing space. Uh, it's probably just an outhouse next door, right? And I don't even care to find out if there's zombies in there. And at this point, I'm thinking maybe I just follow this dirt road, see where it goes. I don't think, from my experience with this game, that there's really anything up in this direction, but normally when I'm up here, I'm in a car. This game's not going to be so kind. Ooh, hunting knife. Ooh, wait. And it's a member of my fan club. All right, let's wear that necklace with crucifix. Eh, we can't really see it on our character right now under all our clothing. Uh, but it does lead to a paved road. Yeah, and of course, as soon as we reach the main highway, which is not more buildings, that spawn rate goes up quite a bit. Let's try and sneak around to some extent. But honestly, it's already almost noon. We're pretty tired, we're pretty hungry. We could be walking a long time. I mean, if I had brought one of those tents, maybe I'd be more willing to try this. And again, it is also mighty cold out here. Yeah, even, even off to the sides. Like, there's the ones on the road that we can see, and there's the ones to the side of the road that we can't see. Thankfully, we're getting pretty decent with this crowbar. Sometimes you just gotta sit down, reflect on everything you've been through, have a seat on the ground, and get rid of that tiredness so that you can continue to fight another day, because it looks like we're going to be doing a whole lot more fighting on the road to wherever this leads, Bill. Now let's also change our bandages. Yeah, I'm starting to think that this whole thing... I, don't, I have no idea how far this is going to be, but I don't think this is going to be doable at all. I just can't keep going down and fighting these clusters. I'm making such slow progress as it is, and it's probably such a long way. So, can't go into town, can't go into anywhere, like, lesser populated. What am I supposed to do? A screwdriver. Uh, but, of course, I'm not going to have time to grab it. Alright, this is the road leading back to our house. We need to clear it. And I think it's do or die. we got to make another run on that kitchen north of Muldrow, but there's just... I really don't know if there's any way I can fight my way through all that. I mean, even if I could successfully kite all that, pull them a little at a time, it would take more time than I really have in terms of just getting exhausted. Uh, it's just... See, the problem with surviving the big bang in the beginning is surviving the slow grind afterwards. The big thing of this game is that it's very much for want of a nail simulator. I mean, there's so many times where even something as simple as a can opener would do you so much better. But we just don't have it. I'm pretty sure every loot setting is probably on rarest right now. Actually, though, there is a campfire here. If we do some scavenging, we could potentially boil water here, right? I mean, if we fill up one of these pots, go down to that body of water we saw last time we went down there, it's doable. Yeah, we wake up every morning with our health bar basically full. But the problem is that, like, I don't think a deep wound... Yep, they set an ambush. I don't think a deep wound will ever fully close on its own. Or at least not for a long time. I'm not entirely sure how it works. But if we can find a way to stitch it up, that'll improve our situation immensely. The good news, I've realized, is that we can actually keep getting clean sheets basically forever, because as you as you kill zombies, you can pretty much just keep tearing up their clothes for sheets. Even though they'll mostly be dirty and bloody, a certain percentage won't be. But this clearing operation, that's what this is. It's just clearing the roads so that there's less to come from behind when we're going in. I'm kind of wondering if these aren't maybe some of the guys that followed me out of there last time. If so, that could actually be pretty good news. 
I mean, I'm sure a lot of them would have ended up stuck in the building, which is a problem. But as long as they're split up like this, we can always reduce what's in the area. Panic is also reducing my accuracy and my ability to kill them effectively. Now, what are you panicking over? If these guys get you, you won't even have to wait three days to come back. Big group moving up there where we came down from last time, I think. Or maybe we came out right here, I don't remember. Either way, if we can pull just a couple at a time. And I'm going to do this, like, very, very carefully. Yep, a few from there as well, which is why it's good that I did this carefully, or I would have had to retreat. Here I go, getting tired again. This right here, this is our killing field. Lure everything back here, and we know there's nothing else around to crash the party. But yeah, this must have been quite a big cluster of them that I was just off-site when I was trying to lure the other dudes. Ooh, a lighter... I had actually forgotten that I took the smoker trait, but that's another thing that's actually hindering us right now. Let's sit on the ground for a bit. I'm too scared to time warp, but let's wait and regather our strength some. Oh wow, there really is no such thing as just pulling a few with whatever settings these are. Uh, eh, four. Four is okay. Split you in half down the middle. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. And more over there that we'd rather not draw. See, this is the thing about Project Zomboid. It is so much harder than, like, pretty much any other zombie game. But it's so much more rewarding. Because it's not necessarily unfair. Like I said, most deaths are the result of taking risks and having it not work out for you. But when you have to work for these things, and not just arbitrarily, but you can actually see the results of your work... When you know, when you build a base, that, like, I scavenged or even created every single plank on that wall, when all of these engineering projects are things that I came up with and actually had them built and used effectively, that's really special. It's not just like, okay, I had, like, 150, like, abstracted upgrade tokens or whatever, and so that means I'm allowed to get this thing that is fully staffed with survivors that came from nowhere and works 100% of the time, Everything is so granular and so deep that it just, it just feels like such an accomplishment when you get something as simple as having a house with four walls and a roof. Okay, now some of what I brought through here is still here. But maybe we can bring out your dead. Another long blunt, that's very good for us. Uh, still plenty more inside. What I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to start breaking down some of these windows. It's probably going to draw a lot of attention. Doing this makes a lot of noise, but I'm hoping that we'll draw more of what's inside as well as outside when we do this. Plus, it'll clear up some space for us to dive out a window without cutting ourselves up in a pinch. Locked. Okay, so we'll have to wait for you to break that down. Clearing that might not actually be the worst thing, because that could potentially allow us to sleep here if need be. Anything in the logging truck? Uh, maybe I can stitch my wounds with twine? I think there's like a corpse somewhere here that had a sewing kit, right? Didn't we see one inside somewhere when we were here before? Yeah, flashlight, we could certainly use that. I know there's more of you in here. Yep, there you are. Potentially more upstairs as well. Gotta be really careful here. Anything we can loot, anything we can eat, would be worth its weight in gold. Wine, beer, and we might just have to take it. I mean, it is a bar after all, but come on. Lighter matches cigarettes, awesome. Okay, uh, let's get all that. Normally it's free points, as they say. We can use that bourbon, I think, to make a Molotov. That door is open, which is not the best. Uh, and the only food is rotten. I should have known that even this would make it difficult. You're still working on that door. You know, sleeping here is looking more and more attractive by the day. Still no can opener. That's the frustrating thing. We have food. We just can't access it. Back here. Nice place, I have to say. 
but it unfortunately doesn't help me that much. I can hear something banging on a door somewhere. Uh, nothing here either. Oh, it's like an upper balcony. Yeah, I think that I think that apartment is our best bet at this stage. Let's start disassembling this door, of course, ready to move as quickly as we can. Uh, stuff like this is always nerve-wracking. We're making probably a lot of racket, too. If we draw it too much, we'll just run home. Let's keep looking around. I think we've done a decent job of clearing. Uh, thankfully, you're stupid. move up. I don't like having that door open, obviously, but eh, at least we have this one. It'd certainly do worse, and this looks like a cozy spot to spend the night. We're gonna start getting really tired really quickly! Oh, bathroom zombies will get you every time. Anything in the kitchen? Ooh, a water bottle. That's worth its weight in gold at this point. Uh, then again, what isn't? And more food I can't eat. Well, we can open the canned corned beef. That's actually really, really good. That's a great source of food. I have a visitor. Oh god, I hope it's not multiple visitors. If it is... If it is, I'm in a tremendous amount of trouble. Yep. Maybe heard me from outside. I think this is going to be our new base of operations in northern Muldrow. But, uh... A few guys over there should maybe clear them out, or maybe I should just sleep. I don't know. We still have the stats to keep going, so we will. I've also been forgetting to have myself a cigarette. Man, I had forgotten I even had the trait because I figured it was just something I wasn't ever going to have to contend with. But that should actually make us even more effective in combat. I'm just waiting to get tired because I don't want to go to sleep and then wake up in the middle of the night. That sucks, but it sucks even more when you don't have a computer. Ooh, a saw. That'll help us out quite a bit for collecting, like, firewood and such. Uh, maybe from here we could even make a go on McCoy. But you know what? I think that's gonna have to be next time. I really did not expect to have to make, like, almost a mini-series out of this, but I also didn't expect to survive more than a few minutes. I thought it would be a victory if I could just get free and clear of that initial horde. But here we are now, sitting at 3 days, 10 hours, with 200 zombies killed. Uh, Jesus Griffiths, you truly are living up to your name, unlike the countless others that came before you. Well, I obviously have no idea how long something like this is going to go, and... It's by far the hardest thing I've ever done in Project Zomboid. Not only surviving that initial gauntlet of enemies and absolutely horrible conditions, but also the severe dearth of resources and overwhelming numbers ever since. But you guys have been asking for a new Project Zomboid series for a while, and well, I can't promise this will be a regular series, but with Into the Radius going on right now... <laughs> It seems like, yet again, a series is found to me unintentionally. But, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always... I will see you in the next one.